You know, whenever you go over to a buddy's house, sometimes they just have one controller, and sometimes they're just playing a one-player game, and you can't play those games. But sometimes you really want to watch them. Sometimes watching is all you want to do. Hi, welcome to Pipeline. My name's Juario, and here with me, as always, is Shuki. How's it going? Now, we're going to tackle some games that you don't mind watching somebody else play. But this doesn't happen with every single game. Like, no. we can't do fighting games. Yeah, like one, two fights, but after that, sorry. Yeah, it, it just it just becomes too repetitive, and you, you feel... You actually want to get in on it. Yeah. Like, you know, it's, it's like, oh, come on, I want to... No, 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 don't do it that way. Yeah, you but know? there are some games that are good just to watch. I really like Bayonetta. Because, basically, it's the closest you can get to pornography without actually showing anything. <laughs> um, in fact, I can't play it without you guys around. Yeah, we got it for him for his birthday, and he's only played it when we've been there. Yeah, pretty much, just because it's, you know, it's kitschy, and it's fun, and, you know, it, the action's kind of cool, and it's, you know, it's good to watch, and uh, also, you know, you guys are better at it than I am, I think. So. Well, and I don't feel like I could actually play it either, yeah. so it's... But you enjoy watching somebody mm -hmm. else kick ass and take names so that's uh well it's easier than being frustrated well that's true that's you know? true so well, if they could be successful you know and cinematic also yeah yeah the anything that has a cinema scene where you can get together and just watch it and enjoy mm -hmm. it that that's a big one too yeah. uh that's kind of uh, how my wife is with uh the beatles and a rock band mm -hmm. when we got rock band she was very excited to hear the music and stuff mm -hmm. but she really didn't want to play. She just wanted to watch the cinematic scenes in the background because, to her, yeah, it's the, she said it was like a music video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. It's and especially with, with the backgrounds and the way they do the animations. Pretty much any music game, I think, is like that. There, it seems like they they think about the fact that people are going to be watching it, so they have something else going on. Yeah, not so much DDR. I've found. Yeah, that's true. I, 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 just haven't been able to watch too many people play DDR. <laughs> I enjoy it, don't get me wrong, but I just can't watch somebody else playing without wanting to get up there mm -hmm. and do it myself. And do it, and maybe that's the problem, like with fighting games and stuff. That's true, that's true. Pretty much any adventure game that I've ever played, you know, like point-and-click adventure games from back in the day, um, I hate to say it because we've been mentioning it in pretty much every other video also, but, <laughs> you know, like the, uh, the Myst series, yeah. and just pretty much anything like that, because you could gather around the computer and it was more about like one person with the mouse, and you didn't so much want control. It's like, no, 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 go over there, look at this, and then you know, they can go look at this, and you can all sort of like collectively think about it, mm -hmm. solve the puzzles, work on it together. There's no time limit, and so everybody yeah, exactly. can give in a little bit of ideas and mm -hmm. stuff, and you can just point and click. Mm -hmm. That that definitely does work. With it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, actually, in fact, I remember Riven specifically being commented as a game that you could watch back when it first came out. Really? Uh, I think an article in maybe Wired back in 97 talked about, hey, you know, this is a game you can just invite your friends over and play, and it's no big deal. Wow. So, it goes back quite a ways. Well, when we got the Wii, I mean, we stayed in line for the Wii <laughs> when it first came out, and... At 2 o'clock in the morning. And the first games that we got were games that you could watch, uh, Raving Rabbits, uh, WarioWare, Smooth Moves, I mean... And Smooth Moves was, you know, universally considered a drinking game. Really? So, yeah, and that was one thing, you know, it's great to watch other people fall over themselves, you know, and you don't have to do it yourself, so... <laughs> Until it becomes your turn and you're throwing back. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I, I really think the Katamari Damacy is yeah. a big one as well, and also... You know, sometimes you want to play it, but... There's so much that can be happening on the screen. Yeah, there's so much going on at any given time. And to have a friend maybe even say, hey, look for that, uh, you know, that mailman. What's that? There's a cloud over there, get it. Yeah, get the cloud. <laughs> yeah. Get the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> and, to, and to play like that. Yeah, exactly. And I, that was one I didn't mind. And the multiplayer, I thought, to me, was less fun than just watching it. Partially because you only had the split screen. Mm -hmm. And, and it's so small. I mean, like, you couldn't, like, eat the world. And you couldn't... Yeah, I, I think if you could set up two TVs, almost like a LAN party, mm. that would be an interesting way to play mm. two-player Katamari Damacy. Oh, yeah. so. <laughs> well, how about you? What do you think uh, were games that you enjoy watching other people to play, and you don't mind playing, not playing them yourself? Uh, 
put down comments below and uh, you know start the thread. So yeah. uh, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again next week on Mario's Pipeline.